Greg, good morning. We are running your parts, and what I'm going to start is actually the very small parts that you send. I think they will hold. What we are going to do is we adjusted the machine for material thickness one millimeter, um, which really is not relevant because the pressure rolls will not hold these parts. We, I made the brushes a little bit lighter by about 20,000 less pressure. And then the most important thing what you will need is a frequency inverter for the bell speed. And you can hear it in the sound. We need to bring the bell speed down to about half the bell speed. We're going to run at six, and we're going to run at about four feet a minute because we have less pressure. And then the key is the conveyor belt has already been, we've been working, some other parts is already warm, but you want to firmly press the parts onto the conveyor belt because ultimately this is what will hold the part. And now you see we are processing at about four feet a minute at fairly low belt speed. And you see the parts come out and they haven't moved and you can really feel they are almost a little bit stuck the belt. You need to, to have some force basically to move inside. We'll try this way. See how they, they have a little bit of stick to it? So with the aluminum we are able to process a very small part. We are not going to process them from the other side because they are flat and they have a rounded edge from the top anyway. The other two small parts which could be actually more difficult because you have more material thickness. So we're going to start with a two millimeter part. All we do is we bring this to two. We run at the same parameter, six and four, and we will try to go like this and see what happens. We keep this the same setting. It could be that we need to up this a little bit. So. You can see the debris around the part again, so we've been working on it. And also, the temperature is a good gauge of what it is. The part is fairly warm and nicely rounded edges. Like so, now all we're going to do for this part is we're going to add the machine another millimeter to three. Three millimeters. And off we go. See how this gets dull? The belt gets constantly clean. Right now we are not on the belt, but before we are also very nice. Excellent. But your idea with the screen is the right idea. Again, the material thickness is about two millimeter, so we go back down to two millimeter. Very quick and simple adjustment. Here we're going to be more aggressive because the pressure rolls are going to hold it, so we're going to go back to our original setting about 50 thousandths up. We're going to go maximum belt speed, and now, just so that you can see that, we're going to go almost 10 feet a minute so that you can see the productivity of the machine. And at the same time, I'm going to gauge how many parts per hour we're going to do here. You can place about one, two, three, four parts across. And as we run this, I'm going to take the time that it takes for this to disappear. Right now, that is about five seconds now, seven, eight seconds. So, at eight seconds apart, four apart, we are making, about, uh, in 60 seconds, we are making about seven behind each other, four across is 28, let's say 30 times 60 would be 1800 parts per hour. Deduct 20% of that, 1,500 parts per hour, single size in this part in aluminum. Results are very nice, and um, I will note down afterwards on the part how fast we process. About so, 
Okay, Greg, now we're going to run your stainless part. This is about 16 gauge, and this is about 22, 24 gauge. The reason why I say about is I never use the caliper, I'm just gauging this. I'm now going to bring that machine down to where it holds. And you see, I'm on the conveyor now, so I need to bring this up a little bit while I can bring this down. And at the same time, because it's stainless steel, we're going to reduce the feed rate to get to about four feet a minute, but maximum belt speed. And then we run in parallel. And at about four feet a minute, you are going to run eight strips side by side. And they're gonna run about 20 seconds. So that is three times eight, is 24 a minute. At 24 minutes, you're going to run about 1,400 per hour. And again, all, what we always want to gauge is how warm the part is when it comes out. They're nice and warm, and you can see the clear marking, and there is no sharpness left in the part. Again, the thinner the material is, the less the machine will be able to engage the edge. But these results are still excellent. All we're going to do for this is now we're going to go back and adjust the material thickness. And at that point I can make a little bit more pressure because I have room on the machine. And then this obviously only will fit one part. And I am going to increase the feed rate by a little. So right now this is 15 seconds going to run about 30 seconds so you would be running roughly a little bit more than 120 an hour because you could already put the next one here and then the next one here so yeah. this is 30 seconds now and yeah, these are going to run approximately 120 per hour and the result again temperature is good and we have some very solid results the inside contours as well as on the outside contours. You have some nibble marks here, of course, they will retain a sharpness to them. Need to adjust your tooling. Three, go. Okay, great. Now we're going to run steel about two and a half millimeters in thickness. So the adjustment here, real quick, you can see how quick the adjustment is. I get a little bit more pressure, full belt speed. And because it's not stainless, we can run a little bit faster. We're going to run at five and a half feet a minute. So, and at that point, you can run them in a mix. These will disappear in just about 10 seconds. So, that'll be about six times six, 36 parts per minute. And then you can run these right away behind it. So these we ran at about 5.5 feet per minute, which translates to about 30 parts a minute, about 1,800 per hour. And these parts we also ran at 5.5 feet per minute, and then do side by side about one, two, three, four parts. 30 inches long, so these are about two of them in a minute, four wide, eight a minute by 60 is about 485 per hour. And that concludes your samples. We have been able to process it all. Again, we need to be a little bit careful with those, please. 
Uh, that takes some finesse to rub those. Thank you very much.